Good morning, Hero Wars fans. Today is Friday, so I excitedly logged into Hero Wars, but there was no event going on. What the hell is this? I'm so disappointed. As you can see, the pattern of events has become irregular lately, so just because it's Friday doesn't mean there will be a regular event on the weekend. So I checked the schedule of events for tomorrow and beyond, and found out that the pet-based event The Great Storm will be held for three days starting Saturday. Incidentally, in the past few The Great Storm events, I've been trying to move to the inner perimeter of the event map as early as possible, but from tomorrow's event, I'm planning to change my strategy to completely traverse the outer perimeter of the event map before moving to the inner perimeter. In the case of The Great Storm event, it turned out that the boss in the center cannot be defeated unless the outer perimeter of the event map is stepped on thoroughly, so I will be steadily digesting the event map while taking that into consideration for tomorrow's event. There aren't that many people who haven't beaten the boss in this event in the past, right? Ha! Let's talk about the viewer giveaway. I've decided to start accepting viewer giveaways for this video channel today. The deadline for the upcoming viewer giveaway is Tuesday September 21st at 11am, so I hope to see many of you there. Please note that this video channel viewer giveaway can only send free red gift packages to HeroWars.com players, so Facebook and mobile players will not be able to receive the prizes even if they win the drawing. In the last viewer giveaway, the winner of the skin stone asked when he would receive his prize, but I have already completed the process on my end. If the viewer still hasn't received the red gift package, there is a strong possibility that the person has applied for the viewer giveaway using the Facebook or mobile version of the game ID. The viewer giveaway for this video channel is for those who play HeroWars.com, so please check which Hero Wars platform you are playing on before entering the giveaway. Let's talk about the Titan Battles Quick Reference. This Titan Battles Quick Reference is designed for Titan Battles with maximum power, but it doesn't necessarily work outside of those conditions. Titans basically have three different attributes. Simply put, it's a rock-paper-scissors system, and Titans have their strengths and weaknesses. This list can be used as a reference when fighting Titans of any level, so if you didn't know this rule existed, please try using this Titan Battle Quick Reference list. However, you may lose depending on the level difference between your opponent's totem and your own, so if you lose after fighting according to this list, it is likely that you are losing because of the level of your totem. This may not be very helpful for veteran players, but if you are new to the game, please download it from the overview section of the video and use it for future Titan Battles. In this article, I'll talk about the 5 main team heroes whose glyphs have reached level 50. I started Hero Wars in June 2020, and I finally finished leveling up the glyphs of our main team. I know that many of our viewers are having a hard time leveling up their glyphs, but even if you belong to a fairly active guild, it will take more than a year. In my case, it took me a year and 4 months because my first guild was not very active, but if you belong to an active guild from the beginning, you should be able to have 5 glyphs reach level 50 in about a year. I expect that I will be able to use my glyphs to level up my 6th and 7th heroes in the future, which will gradually improve my ranking in the Grand Arena. Also, now that I can resume my long stalled Outland campaign, I will be able to receive more Outland coins. As you can see, my Outland progress has stalled at level 100, level 130, and level 150, and I expect to earn more Outland coins as my 6th and 7th heroes level up. I didn't expect to have trouble conquering Outland even in my second year. Now, it's time for the video to end. If you're still struggling with Outland, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.